Today we're looking at the information that God has given to us in the Bible, in Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 2. And what I want to start with is the very first statement that God gives to us in the Bible. He says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. These ten simple words are chock full of scientific information. I want to go to a clip with one of our dear friends, Hebrew scholar Dr. Walter Kaiser. He's very well known. And we asked him to tell us what do these words mean when you translate it literally from Hebrew. And this is what he said. Listen. Thanks, John. It really does talk about an absolute beginning. And the text says, in the beginning. It's very, very crucial that uh, all who believe in the inerrancy of Scripture understand this is where it, it all started. And the rest of the phrase, uh, heavens and earth, really is the biblical word for universe. Uh, it's what we call uh, hen deities, hen, one, dia, through, this, two. So we have one idea through two words, universe, expressed by heaven and earth. So the whole shebang was done in the beginning. And who did it? God. God created. The word bara is used 45 times exclusively with God as the subject. No other, there are other words for make or form or things like that, but never does uh, a human use the word bara. And never does it have any uh, material used uh, as agency along with it. So uh, I think our commitment ought to be to a absolute beginning and uh, that it was initiated by God and that it covers the whole universe. And then it's going to go on verse 2 to talk about the earth. But like Genesis does, always takes the big subject first, the universe. Now, meanwhile, back down on earth. And now we're going to focus on the topic of uh, earth. So uh, uh, no matter how far you go back, it's in the beginning. And there's where Christians ought to put their foot down and say, yep, in the beginning. And that's the biblical date. Now, Hugh, after listening to what Dr. Walter Kaiser said about Genesis 1-1, tell me why astronomy supports this and there is so much more that could be said. Well, Walt Kaiser was talking about was what we call the, the doctrine of creation ex nihilo, how God created the universe out of nothing, an instant where all matter, energy, space, and time uh, came into existence. And astronomers have discovered that that indeed is a correct understanding of the universe. Uh, that the theory of general relativity, the space-time theorems observations all point back to a, a beginning in finite time. A beginning that includes not only a beginning in matter and energy, but space and time itself. Because of the space-time theorems, even atheist physicists are now conceding that a deistic interpretation of reality cannot be avoided. Yeah, that God exists and he brought it into existence. 